Hello, dear people. My name is Volker Schmitz. We are, or I'm sitting here happily with Dr. Artur Rakimov, and we are doing now part two of uh, the videos about dysautonomia tests. And yeah, there's another test. Maybe you looked our first video. And please, uh, can you explain, Dr. Rakimov, about the second test? Uh, mm -hmm. what can yeah, you... the second test, like first we discussed the general dysautonomia test, which is orthostatic probe, transition from lying down to yeah. standing position. So we discussed how to do it, what are the normal numbers, what are the situations, and how to deal with it. Now, next part would relates to how we can test overactivation of the sympathetic nervous system. Which so is very common nowadays. Which is people, uh, like much more than symptoms. parasympathetic stress, absolutely. Hard to say, maybe 10 to 1, maybe even more, uh, for different reasons. And what does it mean that uh, we can have a situation in a person, it can happen in an athlete, like that was my original experience where we test that many athletes can get sympathetic overactivation. But also ordinary people due to their lifestyle, maybe due to some activities which are hyperactive, which can also trigger the sympathetic nervous system. So the test actually looks totally the same as the previous test, but what we are going to do, we are going to observe the effect which relates to sympathetic overactivation. So the test is done in the following manner. So the first person lies down and lying down for three, five minutes should create very stable heart rate. Mm -hmm. Let's say somebody has heart rate of 65 beats a minute okay. lying down. Now the same person stands up and the heart rate increases up to, let's say, 80 beats per minute. Yeah. So instead of 65, now it's 80 beats in the standing position. And how it's going to happen would be the following. In a healthy person, normal way of autonomic regulation, there is a balance between parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system, yeah. and heart rate is going to increase steadily. Mm -hmm. So if we have like original curve, heart rate would be increasing from yeah. 65 to 80, and then it's going to be stable. Now, in the situation when the sympathetic nervous system is hyperactive or overactive, mm -hmm. what is going to happen is that heart rate increases to HD and then it overshoots. It goes to uh, up to HD5, yeah. can be up to 90. Okay. But then it goes back to HD, back. Yeah. So there is kind of a... A leap, like... Mm -hmm. There is kind of, yeah, like a small, like, hill yeah. and overshooting. Then heart rate goes back to HD, and if we continue measurements for next 3, 5, 10 minutes, it would be about HD. In the standing mm -hmm. position, would not change much. Yeah. So, but this overshoot, which can be 3, 5, 10 seconds, that already indicates overactivation of the sympathetic nervous system, because it makes total physiological sense how to explain this test, because the sympathetic nervous system is responsible for activating different organs, yeah. activating... For example, responses relates to high heart rate, increased blood pressure. When you stand up, there are certain physiological changes that should took, should, should took place in the body. But when hyper, when the sympathetic nervous system is hyperactive, it produces this overshot yeah. too much. It reacts too and, much. And then, uh, then sure. parasympathetic nervous system needs to get into action and slow down and yeah. back to the norm. So therefore, we can see here there is kind of very simple test, which again, I knew a long time ago, why? Because I di I've, I've been doing this test with uh, orthostatic standing up uh, yeah. from line to standing position for many years. And many of my athletes, um, my friends who, uh, who were also in different teams on different levels, uh, was also doing the same test. And the athletes whom I coach were also doing this test every day for many years. And therefore, of course, it's very easy to accumulate information. What I found that... But, but, but what, what you, you would need probably a relatively exact kind of timing, like, like devices you can for, do, for handy and something. Uh, like, should be relatively exact for this kind of yeah, test. Yeah, for this test... You because can, it has to react relatively fast in simple, a few seconds. Like, yeah, simple uh, pulse oximeter. In the past we like use this, uh, yeah. polar sport tester, you know, you put yeah. like... A, um, uh, heart common, rate monitor yeah. and you exactly see how your heart rate is quite quickly but I, I knew that I know that like I went there were times and I did not have even any equipment it's I still would just, possible I yeah, would just measure my very, exactly like 10 seconds or so every, every 10 seconds you can measure your heart rate exactly yeah. how many numbers yeah. and then you can plot it and yeah. you, you would see exactly the same information yeah. okay. it would be a little bit less accurate you would maybe miss of few course. details but it would still give a very good general yeah. picture Mm -hmm. Now, what happens here with this test, that how, like, uh, how in my 
past sport experience it can happen because it like again now I'm teaching health but what would happen in the past many many years ago this uh, sympathetic overactivation can take place due to for example like in my case I probably had it maybe three four five times in my life during my sport career when for example I would have maybe instead of doing like my uh, traditional training two three days of playing games very active games like basketball soccer <coughs> football yes. and some other like where you have a lot of sharp movements a lot of stre reaction. stress involved in those kinds of stress things. involved yeah they kind of seem uh, and then what would happen later i would get this over increase in yeah. heart rate when standing up but later if, if i get into my regular routine it would disappear at the same time, I know for certain that somebody who is much more involved in playing games yeah. and in more kind of more active, like, uh, let's say, sprinter type of exercise, when people do very short exercise, yeah. and other, they can get this stress easier because of the lifestyle. So somebody, again, who is in uh, endurance type of sports, they would be much more prone to getting parasympathetic overactivation, which we are going to discuss next. Mm, okay. But this sympathetic activation would be more common for people who are, play, who are playing games, mm -hmm. who are playing games not only physically but also mentally. Mm -hmm. And that kind of a, would be a very large group of population who now play like game addicts, people who like play computer games, sure. other games for many, many hours. And of course we are designed in such a way so that the brain needs to be all, hyperactive yeah. all the time. Yeah. And that can easily cause this reaction so that uh, heart rate increases too much and this simple DIY test with pulse helps people to identify. The solution which I used in the past as I described like in sport career would be just going to something slower, easier, more natural, kind of more relaxing, yeah. more calm. Or, or medita meditation can also help Absolutely. a lot meditation of course because be the state of mind very also good, has a lot to do with a very good solution and yeah. brief, brief and retraining that we teach right now would be an excellent remedy because with increasing in body oxygen test, slowing down, like going to according to the Bottega table of health zones people are able to achieve amazing other benefits like having a lot of energy, having very good focus of mind, excellent sleep and many other factors. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, therefore, this type of test can be done for anybody and this is like simple DIY test which just requires, uh, for most people, the cell phone app would be enough because we can see heart rate and if heart rate overshoots, let's say even 3-5 uh, beats per minute, that would be already mild overshoots but having 7-10 uh, increase yeah. over the of course, further level, like you made it going too high, seven ten. That would be quite high level. That uh, would require it because it it at this level it can easily interfere a lot with sleep and digestion. Yeah, sure. So when sy sympathetic system is hyperactive. So people can easily get in much more problems. And by the way, sports people who are in games or so often have it after games that they just cannot sleep. Ask yep. any football player or so yeah. after, after hey, a yeah. match on the weekend, they cannot sleep or just a few hours is uh, very common. Takes longer time. So this is test number two. And this test is, was, as we discussed, for sympathetic, how we can measure DIY, sympathetic uh, autonomous nervous system overactivation or hyperactive state of the sympathetic nervous system. Yeah, in the next video we discuss parasympathetic nervous uh, system tests.